Hi everybody. Um, man, it doesn't matter where I sit or how I do this. My apartment's just dark. I have every single lamp lit. I have all the lights on. Um, I, that's the only room in this whole entire apartment. I mean, not that it's very big. It's 24 feet by 36 feet. You would think that they would have a ceiling light in the living room. You know, the room that people spend the most time in. <laughs> It is what it is. Welcome, welcome. This is my second channel. I'm having a really hard time getting people to hop over here. I figured people would, you know, come over here and um, for the DIYs and the, the hauls and stuff. But people just aren't um, wanting to uh, come over. So, it is what it is. So, I'll probably end up with a bunch of whole different... Uh, new subscribers because I want Haunted Ramblings to stay my Explorers, my Urbex, my, um, you know, Paranormal. It was never intended to be DIYs and all that. The whole is what happened. So, welcome, welcome. This is my DIY and where it's supposed to be uh, transitioning to be in my my channel where all my hauls and stuff are supposed to be. So today we're going to have, I think the first shopping haul that's going to show up on this channel. Strictly for this channel only, the other channel's not going to see this stuff. So um, I don't think I showed this, and I'm drinking my coffee, it's early in the morning, so hold on. This is the best thing I got from Lambert's Cafe. Guys, I, I wasn't thrilled <laughs> about that place. I'm sorry. It just wasn't for me. A two and a half hour wait. And I think I may have gotten two rolls. The roll I got when I first got there and the roll that we finally begged for later on. Um, and man, fighting to get refills on food was like, wow, yeah, um, this is one of the favorite things I got from Black Friday, um, this is a drill, it's just one of the cheaper ones, it's not one that you, you know, flip the handle or nothing, I could have paid $15 for one that's not got as many, um, volts, it was only a four volt, and, um, it was, it was more costly, but, um, I also bought some little drill bits to go with it. Now, I would have goofed if somebody had not been with me to tell me that I had to have hex drill bits to go with this style drill. This drill, screwdriver drill thing will be perfectly fine for what I'm going to use it for, for little simple crafts. I'm not going to drill through no big thick metal. I'm not going to drill through no big piece of steel or big piece of wood. I'm just drilling through little pieces of wood from like the Dollar Tree or little pieces of tin. I'm not, not getting into anything big. And I can't hear in my apartment anyways. They hear a big old drill going in my apartment that somebody's going to flip out and call the manager and I'm going to be out the door. So I can't have big, loud power tools. So, like I said, this is a big, um, whatchamacallit, whatever you call that thing, um, shopping haul. I've been shopping at Walmart, Dollar Tree, and Dollar General. And I'm trying not to sneeze. They've been... Cutting down trees and blowing leaves, and they've got big old piles of leaves out here that they never picked up. So, I've got allergies going really bad. So, if I sneeze, I sneeze. I'm sorry. Dollar General. Um, there's a video I'll put out when I'm ready to put these things together. I could not believe what they wanted for gift baskets. Um, I used to... To make money, back when I lived in upstate New York, I used to go and put together gift baskets for people. They would give me, throw me a few bucks to do it. 
you know, that doesn't sound like much, but when you're flat broke and you have no money and you're living with other people, any way to make a dime so that you have some money, especially Christmas time to buy gifts, is, is better than nothing, you know. I'm trying not to let my coffee get cold. So, I used to put together gift baskets and wrap presents, decorate trees, clean people's houses at Christmas time, anything to make money. So, I could not believe what Walmart charges for some of their gift baskets. And they look crappy, really, when you realize all you get is what's sitting on top of the basket, the, the metal box, and then there's really nothing in it. And you're like... You're paying that much money for that? Well, I could have bought a pretty little tin bucket and filled it full of stuff for that much money and had it be quality stuff, not really cheap stuff. So, anyways, I bought a whole bunch of different things um, because I wanted some stuff and I, I, I just went shopping for myself. That makes sense? I, I am really dark, guys. Sorry. Um, um, I got this 24 foot garland at the Dollar General. This is the only one they had left out of three Dollar Generals I looked at. And I was on a search for this, guys. And this is late in the year to be looking for garland. But I found something and that's what started my search. Everybody knows I collect squirrels and I love deer and I'm in love with owls. This is what started my search. Yes, it is. If you can see this. Well, let me turn it around. Because I think this side shows it better. We have owls. We have deer. We have acorns, pine cones, and squirrels. This huge box with all these animals in it, it was only 12 bucks, guys. Now, I don't have a tree. I'm not putting a tree up. I'm done with trees. I'm done. I have my willow tree up, and that's an all-year-long tree, which, by the way, one of the lights quit the second time I used it. I'm not happy. And guess what? No Walmart has them left. I can get a refund. I looked at the lady. I said, what good is that going to do me? I'm out my tree. I want the tree. So what I'm going to do is get some of the twinkle lights that are the little LED, what do they call them? Anyways, I'm just going to have to add them to it. I'm ticked off about the quality that one of the strings of lights that comes down is already out. So I'll be using that and then adding more lights to it. It's pretty but it already you know gave up the ghost on me on one of the strings of lights so I'm going to take these my garland and I bought something else and I'm going to put some garland across this doorway and across the doorway that goes into the hallway that's all I'm doing um, decoration wise man my glasses are like going all over the place Another sippy sip. I hope y'all are having coffee with me or tea or whatever your drink of choice is. Because it's early in the morning. What am I doing? I'm doing Dollar General. And of course, you know, I, I live on Gatorade. That's what I use to take a lot of my meds with um, and keep my electrolytes up. I love Andy's candies. I had to get one. Um, funny thing, my mother loved Andy's candies. It's a big thing with her. So, anyways, back to my Dollar General. Um, I picked up, did I only get one of these? I thought I got two. Yes, I did. I got two. One set of red, because that was the only set of no, the white ones was the only white ones I could find. So I got a set of red. These are like bows. And 
these are kind of like a bow, but they're just red berries. Um, they were each dollar, but I couldn't find only those. And then I only found one of these. Now, thankfully, I had to go to more than one Dollar General. And then I found this really cute, I believe it's reindeer. Hold on, I have to have my glasses on. No, this is the snowman one. I was looking for a reindeer one, but I couldn't find it. But this has got a snowman on it. I had not seen this before. And I was like, that's cute. I may want this, and I may want it for next year. Who knows, a dollar. I'll I'll take and put that up for next year if I have to. Um, oh, i got to go get my other Dollar General bag. It's way out of reach, guys. Oh, this is the bag I showed you before, so on my other channel. I won't show you that again. And then I went to another Dollar General and I got one of these. I've wanted some of these. I believe these are what's called lamb's ears or something. They're really soft and they have some berries in them. And I kind of wanted them to incorporate in some other things. And I have looked all over for vintage looking Christmas cards to do a craft with. And I haven't been able to find any. But I found some little tags um, that look kind of vintage-y. I may have to just use those. And then they have some of the nicest plush blankets, guys. This one was only eight or ten dollars. Um a lot nicer than the ones you're getting at Walmart right now. Um, this one's kind of got a star kind of thing on it. and that pretty? And it's not scratchy. It's not scratchy at all. And it's not glitter. It's not falling off on your hands. Look. You don't see that fall off. So this is pretty. This is kind of a soft peachy color. It's not pink. It's peach. I got that. Um, I'll show you later what we're going to do with that. And I, I could have gotten cheaper ones. I could have gotten some $5 ones that were okay looking. I um, had some pretty patterns, but I wanted this. I wanted the heavier one. And then I finally found another one of these garlands. Because these garlands are only six feet. Okay? I needed more than just one. Um, and then I found this adorable mug that says you're my person so from now I have three mugs that I'll be using when I do my videos so that when I used to do like online videos like pearl parties and stuff and I'd be on Facebook doing um, online stuff everybody say what's your cup say we can't read your cup everybody knew my cups always had something on it um, I just kind of like that one because people say, okay, you're using your friend cup or you're using your Lambert's cup today. Um, so, And I like a big coffee cup. I want my coffee cups big. Um, it, it's just my preference. So I have a nice big cup. I like that cup. That was the only big cup I could find. On to, well, oh no, I got two more things. You see these? You see how big these are? These are huge. Look at this. Now, I will tell you they are, um, they do bend easily. Well, not real easy, but they, they will bend, okay? I had to have the lady get down the stack. They're way, 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 way up in the top. I could not really reach them. I could catch it with my finger and turn the single one that was there, and I seen it was dented a lot. And I asked her, would you please get me down the stack? Because that single one that I could reach with my finger, I can see is all dented. I said, I don't want any dented because they're for gifts. And I got the two best ones they had. One of these has, well, you know what? Now that I've got them home... The, the little dents that were down in the bottom, this one had like, or maybe you can see it, 
No, it's pushed out. It had like some creases, like something was setting in it. And now I'm not see You know what it is? It's glue. I can see it in this one. Here it is. You see that? That's actually glue. Along the rim in there, that's glue. Okay. So it's not dented, that's glue. Oh, and there's a crease. Oh, you know what? There's a crease by each of the handles. That's the way they're put together. There's a little crease by the handles on each of them. Okay, so these, five bucks. Five bucks for these big tin buckets with snowflakes. They're cute. They're really cute. So that is the end of my Dollar General hauls. Okay, now, Walmart. I know y'all are going to say, ah, oh, you shopped at Walmart. People like to see stuff from Dollar Tree and Dollar whatever. And I have glitter, so I got to put these back in the bag. I did get me some of these that have the felt, like Velcro, um, or the felt. Are these just felt or are they Velcro? I think these are just felt on the back. But I wanted some of these because sometimes I do crafts that I want the magnet, but I want them so that they um, stick to things. Does that make sense? Without having to use a ton of glue. Look at this. Isn't that cute? That's a pretty stem. Um, and some of these are going in my garland. And I did pick up more, and I can't find that bag. So I'm kind of like, what did I do with my other bag with some of this stuff in it? And it's a bag with just these couple of stems. Oh, I know where it is, and I'm not going to go get it. Because it's just um, got some of these in it. Some of these and um, some other berries. And I'll just show them as I go to put together um, and then I got a couple more of these. These are gold. Um, I don't like to mess with glitter a whole lot just because it does make a mess. What I'll be doing is shaking these over a box that I'm going to throw away. So that I shake off all the excess glitter because I now have glitter all over my carpet. That's okay. So that came from Walmart and... This and one more thing. Check your clearance aisles closely. Everywhere that you may find clearance, there'll be clearance section in wherever your crafting stuff is, there will be clearance section. Um, there's also clearance aisles in where the makeup and stuff is. You'll find clearance stuff. But I found this in the regular clearance. I go through the clearance every time I go through Walmart. And I found this for 10 bucks. It was 24 Now, it was heavier than I thought it would be. But, oh my, this thing moves some air. And it has hot, cool, and warm, plus high and low and off. So, this has better functionality than my bigger, bulkier, hard-to-hold one um and i really kind of like this one better than my other one so i'm glad i picked that one up and then i had been looking because i'm going to do a reindeer for horns forever and walmart's still putting out odds and then christmas decorations and i found these horn picks um and i may have already shown them once in my other channel but they were right here, and I, I figured I'd sh go ahead and show you because they're going to be in a craft. Now on to my Dollar Tree. I don't think I have a whole lot of Dollar Tree to show. I think I actually only have a couple of Dollar Tree items. And um, I went ahead and I picked up another one of these little white deer. And I picked up some white command hooks. I cannot find the silver command hooks no matter how I've looked. And over, because our Dollar Tree is starting to actually pay attention to what people really want. 
And now that they've been there for like, well, they opened up in the end of June, middle of June. We're finally getting some of the really good crafting stuff. These are the short ones. So now I have like four of the taller ones and then I've got a couple of short ones. They only had like, I don't know, six or eight of them. But some of them have like a gold coloring inside and I'm not sure what that was all about because it wasn't all of the inside was gold color it was like a staining of some sort and I was kind of like mm, and I don't know how much I'll use the really short ones and I probably will be kicking myself and wishing I bought more than two but um I just grabbed two because I was in a hurry I wanted to get out of there they had no heat they last time I was in there they still had no heat and then like Five days with no heat in that building. So it was just crazy. Plus I picked up two more of these to make a project with. And because I'm always losing them and looking for them. And then after I bought these, I found my white one. <laughs> Go figure. So um, I'll put these in a drawer where I know where they're going to be in my crafting stuff. So I know where they are. So, anyways, that's going to be the end of my crafting haul, I believe. I'm going to have my coffee because it's sitting behind me getting cold. And I'm sorry this video is like 20-some minutes long. Don't mean it to be. Um, everybody have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope everybody finds their way over from Haunted Ramblings. I'm... I just want to separate the two channels so that all my DIY stuff isn't flooding my main channel, which is not supposed to be all that. Everybody, have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.